Hello, Libra. I'm a little disheveled. I just did the Libra reading. But that was a very specific message that I'm pretty sure was like for three people. Out of, you know, the thousands that are subscribed, pretty sure that was just for three people. So this is the one that I'm going to put out as the main one, but technically it's your bonus. And I'm just going to post the other one, you know? So if this don't resonate, you know, you can, you're more than welcome to watch that one, you know, and you consider that a bonus, but it got real deep, you know? And yeah, but I did not feel that that was going to resonate with everyone. So I said I was going to immediately after finishing that one, do a bonus. So that way, you know, in the event that that's not your situation, you wouldn't have to wait. So I'm jumping in and doing this for you guys. So we're going to look at the energy between you and another person. We're going to look at Libras as well as their person of interest in the event that you're a cross watcher. You will more than likely resonate with the side that I'm reading for Libras and the Libra you're cross watching for would fall in the place of Libra's person of interest. That was an interesting, very interesting reading. Whew. But anyway, had to clear my energy and we're back like we never left. So we're going to jump right in. Asking Spirit for clear and direct guidance for Librans. And change my deck and everything. All right. Let's see what is going on. The energy between you and your person of interest is the three of cups in reverse this is already wonderful bottom of the deck we have the eight of swords interesting so you guys are not trying to solve the problem that may potentially be a third party doesn't have to be third party cheating just um trying to wreck your brains on how to make something fair to make something equal you're just not putting energy into it anymore first card we have for you guys is page of wands in reverse and that's wasted energy it's uh having gifts and talents and not putting them to good use it's kind of like squandering your gifts in a sense then we have the seven of swords in reverse oh my god Well, this is very specific. All right. How I would see this is. You have gifts and talents. You have a tendency to help people that are around you. People around you take your ideas and call them your own. I mean, their own and not give you credit for them. I feel like you may have put. Um time energy and effort into trying to figure out ways to vindicate yourself right but to no avail because i feel like you're exhausted but a part of me kind of feels that um there's a method to the madness here i'm gonna keep pulling oh wow king of swords and reverse good old manipulator and controller yeah, dog, this is interesting that this would really, this is coming out to me almost like a work kind of situation. It's like having a boss that, like you might work for someone and you know how when you're kind of like in meetings or if you meet with the boss and you give them an idea and then they come and present it in front of everyone and don't give you credit for it. That's kind of like the energy that I'm feeling. Then we have the wheel reversed. Oh, good Lord. Does somebody steal a promotion from y'all? And we have the Four of Swords in reverse. No chill. Then we have the Eight of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. This is interesting. Y'all, now this is interesting. I feel this heavily as a work situation. You know? And right now, I feel like it looks like the wheel isn't turning in your favor and kind of like everything or everyone, if we would go that far, is against you. But I feel like there's a need for you to take a step back to recalibrate, regather your energy 
so you can understand how to move forward with this because it's almost feeling to me as if you took a wrong turn somewhere you know but i'm feeling like this is something that can be solved i feel like it more or less feels like it feels a lot worse than it is right it feels a lot worse than it is wait i don't want to clarify with that deck i feel like it feels a lot worse than it is but again here we go with the clarifying like we did in the other one whoa oh judgment oh 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 Oh, well, that's why the wheel ain't turning right now. Okay, that's too many cards that came out. Okay, it will turn in your favor. Okay, this is good, Libra. This feels heavily to me like work, right? The intention is for this to be a love reading. But I mean, hey, your work life affects your love life as well. The whole thing is things, they seem a lot worse right now than they are. But it's because it's almost like things, this person needed to expose themselves. Let me put it that way, right? I feel like you guys are feeling taken advantage of. And I'm saying that in a generalized sense, because like I said, I'm picking this up. For me, this feels like something dealing with work, right? But this very well could be in reference to a relationship situation. It's kind of pinging on that other energy, too. But I feel like right now everything looks unfair, but these wrongs are going to be righted before the end of this month. Right. So looking and taking into account kind of what I was saying in the last reading about the Libra full moon, it's like I feel the clarity is going to come because it's three days before that energy is active and three days after. So literally within this week or at the latest uh, before May, things are going to shift and it's going to shift in your favor, right? So it's almost like everything that's been taken away from you is going to be given back to you. But I feel like what your job is in all of this, because I, I, this is all divinely orchestrated. So this is something at the time right now is out of your hands, the role that you would play in this, and I'm hearing my granny in my head right now, the Lord helps those who help themselves. <laughs> the way that you help yourself in this situation is calling your power back to you to stop wasting energy in this situation because spirit is handling it and it will turn out in your favor. It's just I feel like whatever this situation is, whatever this person was doing, it's like they need to expose themselves because I don't think you could have exposed them. I don't think anyone else could have exposed them. It's almost as if this person needed to trip up, right? This person needed to trip up in order for this to be exposed. So right now you just need to sit back and chill. It's all going to come out gather your energy i feel like it's going to become very clear to you where you kind of got off track here right because that's something important not anything to beat yourself up about but i feel like this is more or less a lesson for moving forward is like seeing this blind spot but don't think too hard it's like i feel like if you guys just kind of sit with spirit a little bit that's going to become very clear to you but in the end this is going to work out in your benefit, meaning you're going to be getting credit for what it is that was taken or you're going to be receiving back what it is that was taken from you. I don't know what that is per se, but I feel like you know what I'm talking about. So whatever it was that made or even if this person was like slandering your name, it's like whatever the case may be, by the end of this month, everything is going to be righted that was wrong in reference to whatever this thing is misjudgments and things of the sort and i'm gonna clarify y'all overall energy too Ooh, libra what y'all got going on man whoa Ooh, <laughs> i like this <laughs> offers and moving forward plans for the future man okay this does feel a lot like this other energy. I just like how this is coming out a little less chaotic. You know what I'm saying? 
But whatever it is that's going to be revealed in reference to this is going to open you up to have a new connection with another person. So y'all are number three that's getting a love off for Libra. Number three. Dagnabbit. Well, all right. Interesting. Yeah, man. This is good. Okay. So, yeah. This is pretty much an old cycle that's wrapping up is the best way that I could put it. And this is something that was a done, done deal. Um, it was something that was very unfair to you. But like I said, man, this is one of this is a classic case of what the tarot cards of making your enemies your footstool looks like. Oh, my gosh, I forgot. The name of y'all reading at the beginning of this month was he say she say. So this is the rumors and stuff. So if a person has been slandering your name, it's like they're getting their comeuppance, you know, and you getting your blessings. Just saying. You know? Okay. On to your person of interest. Ooh. King of Wands. Ooh. King of Chalices. Spirit? Are you pulling up the new person? Oh, Libra. Y'all changing the game? Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, no. Never mind. <laughs> Mm. 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 Give me come up and... Whew. All right. So we got the King of uh oh wait, I don't even show them to you. We have the King of Wands and the King of Cups. Then we have the Four of Wands in reverse. We have the Tower in reverse, and we have Temperance in reverse. So this is the thing that I'm seeing here. This is the energy. This isn't the new person. I thought it was because I saw these two and I was about to get really excited because I was like, oh my gosh, this looks really good. But I totally understand. <sighs> All right. This to me is a mirror reflection of this energy with you guys of like your crowning energy here. You know what I'm saying? It's like looking like. It's almost like if this is like, okay, if, if a person is spreading rumors about you, how this would look, they're making you look either like a thief, a deceiver, a liar, a person that's very immature, unappreciative, so on and so forth. And they're kind of looking like the head honcho, like this caring leader, you know what I'm saying, type of deal, like the ideal kind of person. But I feel like all of this energy here is matching up to me. Wow. And all of these are in reverse, just like yours. That's crazy. So this person. Right. With this tower reversed. This is this energy that's being held up in you guys middle row over here. Right. With the wheel of fortune in reverse and the king of swords and then the four swords in reverse. Right. It's like, this is this person trying to, it's like, this to me is representative of whatever this is. I don't know what this is. Y'all have to tell me in the comments what this is because y'all know I'm nosy. But it's like, whether this is a rumor or whatever it is that's going on, this person like trying to hold back your blessings and God forbid, I don't know, like, you know how people always talk about like, you know, people doing hexes and things on you. Not saying that that's what's going on here, but it would be a perfect place to apply what this looks like. So it's like if a person, you know, tries to do a little binding spell on you or something like that, it's like how it would work temporarily. Like it can delay a blessing, but it won't deny it. Like this is what that delay looks like. So in the time being, it looks like this person is winning and they look really, really good. But I feel like whoever this person is, dude. I feel like this person is really powerful. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know who y'all dealing with. But I feel like you've been wrecking your brains on how to vindicate yourself. And which is why I'm saying over here, there's no need to do that. Because I feel like if you tried to go at this person like toe to toe, you would lose. So it has to be something divine intervention wise, because I feel like this is how everyone sees them as the king of cups and the king of wands. Everybody views them. Man, I don't know. Like, I feel like this person is somebody very important, like powerful. Like the first thing that popped in my mind was pastor. But it could be anything like politician, principal. You know what I'm saying? It could be your boss, whatever. 
but it's a person in a position of power and it looks like right now they're winning but they're not right so then their next couple of cards we have the queen of pentacles we have the lovers in reverse and then we have the nine of swords so this to me is when karma's coming home to roost you know what i'm saying and I feel like I don't know who this Queen of Pentacles person is. Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. I feel like this person is going to be of great help to you. Whoever or whatever this is, because I don't want to get too much into the specifics here, Libra, but um, because uh, this is so broad. And it can fit in so many different ways. I don't want to get too specific because I don't want anyone to miss a message from what I'm saying. But I feel like this Queen of Pentacles individual is going to be the one that ignites the truth coming out about this. Right. And this person, long story short, is going to get their comeuppance. If that makes sense. Because I feel like she or he, because, you know, I'm saying she, but I mean, it could be a he. I feel like that is, um, they're going to notice something is amiss. Ooh, and we got the Ten of Pentacles. So I don't know, man, if this person stole money from you or lied or whatever, I don't know what it is that happened. But like I said, delayed but not denied is what the most important thing is with this. Like at the end of the day, which I feel like is the most important message of all of this is the fact that you're going to get what it is that you deserve. Right. And I don't mean that as like, you know, a bad omen. I mean, you're going to get what you deserve, like what's rightfully yours. Cause I, I really do feel like it's like a theft or something that is, uh, it's a theft of some kind. I don't, I have no idea. Y'all gonna have to tell me. Yeah. We got the two of swords clarifying with the page of swords and the ten of pentacles so the thing that i i feel is okay whoever this queen of pentacles figure is this person is on the sidelines and in the background and i feel like this person has watched this whole thing unfold right they notice that something with this person ain't quite right you know what i'm saying because you know like if you think of a person who's very charismatic and how a charismatic person can easily fool people but this person is, because it's the queen of pentacles, this is like me. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's me that's exposing them, though. It's like a queen of pentacles figure is somebody who sits in the cut and just watches everything that's happening. And seeing how everyone is maneuvering. And if you pick up on something with a person where it's like, this don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? It could also be a person that has fire and water in their chart. But something about this person just ain't right, because something ain't adding up. You know what I'm saying? Something ain't adding up here, you know? So when you get that instantaneous feeling that something ain't adding up, this person took a step back and they went into stalker mode. This very well may be a tourist because we are professional stalkers. I'm just letting you know. If you didn't know, now you know. I just let the secret. Let the cat out the bag, okay? We're better than Scorpio stalking, okay? Don't tell nobody. Anyway, so I feel like this person set back in the cut Watch this whole thing play out and they got receipts, right? <laughs> They're exposing this. So this is like the saving grace that's coming in for you guys. They're exposing this as what's going to vindicate you and turn everything right and give you what's due, rebalance everything in your life and it's going to allow you to move forward. I can't even stick this with love specifically, Libra. Y'all going to have to fit this however it fits because this is how it's coming out to me. You know, it's not as tumultuous as it was with the first one, but this is still very specific and very clear. And I think because of so many people is why I'm trying to stay kind of broad. But it's you guys have a liberator and a vindicator that is looking out for you that you're not aware of. And the person isn't doing it. Because I don't even really feel like you know the person. They're not doing it like because they're intending to help you out. It's like I just feel like this person is a very, um, you know, like a righteous, upstanding person. 
that is like a giver who, you know, uh, like they just don't like seeing people taken advantage of. And I feel like they're doing it more from that place. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like this is somebody that, you know, I just feel like they know that something here isn't right and they can't really stand for something that isn't right like this. So they're kind of the vindicator by default that is going to clear up whatever this is. Y'all going to tell me in the comments what this is because I am desperately, desperately dying to know. Get the dice of resonance here. I don't know what's happening. Y'all going to have to tell me what is going on. I don't know. I have no idea. So this is the dice of resonance, 12 zodiac signs, two clarifying die, and the ability to ask a yes or no question. In the event that you want to, pause me now, ask that question, and I'll go ahead and toss these out. However they resonate, they resonate. I don't know what's going on with y'all, Libra. All right, we have Gemini, we have Sagittarius, we have Bay Lover Partner and Sun. So the person can be a Gemini Sun or a Sagittarius Sun. And the answer to your question is no. No. Yes. And well, not yes. I mean, yes, it's no. Yeah. The answer to your question is no. <laughs> but this could be a Gemini person, Sag person, Bay Lover Partner, and a Sun sign somewhere up in here. <laughs> but I'm going to go over to the Lurkers Lounge. Whew. And, you know, wreck my life by digging into this. I might, I think I might look into uh, this Queen of Pentacles figure, though. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look into this Queen of Pentacles person, into uh, you guys' person of interest as well because i don't know you know how this is resonating for everyone but i'm gonna go on over there if you bout that life meet me on over but if not my love i love your freaking face i hope this helps somehow i feel like i just said a whole bunch of nothing i don't know you know but <laughs> i'll see you guys sooner than later deuces